as you can tell where I am. My mom's place. It is Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm not spending the night because to be honest, I can't stand her. <clears throat> but anyways, um, being here is bringing back some memories right now, but not good ones. <sighs> Guys, this week really fucking sucks. Like, I don't even really know where to begin. I don't even know, I don't know where to begin. From my kidneys being in constant pain, to my keys being thrown in the community trash, to my car light coming on, maintenance required, I gotta get an oil change, to me not doing well at work, my boss catching the person that kept distracting me, hoping that she realizes that it wasn't me and it was actually him, um, to me not sleeping for almost 36 hours, to being rejected again, because I'm always rejected, but in the same breath being told that everybody likes me when in reality, that's not the truth. It's like, it's so funny, like everyone, I'm not gonna say everyone, there are certain guys that for some reason believe that I have a list of guys waiting for me. There are certain guys that believe that I am this hot thing. My scarred ass, ugly ass face with this big ass, ugly nose, with my ugly ass, dried lips, my fat self, somehow I have a long list of guys willing to be with me. There's this really weird belief that I do. And it's like, you know, I am very flattered that you really think so highly of me, but I can guarantee you there is no one waiting for me. None. I don't even fucking exist in most people's lives. I'm invisible for crying out loud. Telling me that, well, you say you're weird, but people actually like that. No, actually, people don't like my weirdness. I know this for a fact. My weirdness scares people away from the table, make them walk away and sit somewhere else. I know this because I experience it. I see it. I don't know. On one hand, I just want to be alone forever. But at the same time, I know that's ultimately going to destroy me because deep down inside, I do want to be with somebody. I want to have a happily ever after and have a life somewhere that doesn't involve working almost every day for crazy ass hours. <laughs> like I'm now looking at these houses across the lake and these big old houses and I'm like picturing myself living with someone that I love. We don't even have to be married, just have to be together. I even was talking to him that, you know, I'm technically against marriage or I was originally against marriage and now I'm starting to have second thoughts. The only person in the world who can give me second thoughts of marriage is him. He's literally the only person who makes me feel like maybe I could get married and maybe I could reproduce even though I still feel like we should just adopt children instead of reproducing. Maybe I could. But he's literally the only person in the world who can make me even think something like that. What does that tell you guys? I don't know. Maybe I should just stop telling you guys all my drama. Unless, of course, you like this shit. Now I'm in Orlando, hanging out with somebody that I don't like that much. Don't get me wrong, I care about her. I do care about my mom, but I don't really like her. And she just does so many things that just really rub me the wrong way and make me give her the side eye. Like something recent that I'm not gonna mention because it's nobody's business but hers. But, yeah. Anyways, thanks for listening. I don't wanna run out of space. I'm not with my laptop, so I can't just transfer files and continue recording. Well, it is November 30th, and I've decided that I'm actually going to go ahead and make my uh, Thanksgiving meal finally, because I I was too broke, so I couldn't, like, prepare. I couldn't go to the store and buy anything. I literally had nothing in my fridge for, like, the longest time. I pretty much ate nothing for, like, a week. But anyhow, so 
I saw this. It was on sale for half price. It's originally 10 bucks, but it's on sale for like five bucks. So I bought it. I really do want to try this. Um, I mean, if flexitarians approve, I should approve too. Granted, I don't really like meat anyways in the first place, but we'll see what this tastes like. Hopefully delicious, right? And I got my cranberry stuffing that I'm going to make because I'm too lazy to make it all from scratch. And uh, yeah, so it's just going to be those two things. Let's just see how this shit works out. And here it is. It's not complete. I still got to put it in for another 15 minutes, but this is basically what it's going to look like. So that's the roast. And there's some gravy on top of it, and I have like stuffing all around. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. I really thought it would be like a really big roast, but if you're gonna feed like, like this roast really is enough for maybe two people. So if you got like four people, I would get two of them. If you got like six people, I would get three, so on and so forth. So, anyways, that's all I'm gonna post for this part. I will see you guys in the next clip. <laughs>